you know I wasn't kidding when I said uh, there was going to be a new view. Yep. If any of you might have guessed it, 1.9 chunks. Oh yeah. We got some snow biomes over there. Some, probably a mountain biome, really. If you go back a further, it's, it, it just continues the mountain type thing. Got a tiny little island there. You can see it right in the crosshairs. And we got a desert that you guys cannot see because it hasn't rendered. Anyway, welcome to episode 4 of Iggy's SP world tour thing that I like to do. Uh, but it's been very hard to get out uh, and actually get this done. I mean, get out and... Uh, I don't know why I use that terminology there, but okay. Um, and we also got a pine forest back there. Some free wood. It's actually very close, so I might just build a little bridge and uh, make it nice and easy. Let me turn on some fog here so uh, we don't run so much lag in-game for me. Of course, you guys are getting 90 FPS, so uh, be thankful. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's my new island. The island that I have ported into a 1.9 world. Mostly what I did is I saved all of the area. Basically anything below, probably, you can see the line, it's very obvious, uh, where I cut off the 1.7 slash 1.6 world, and we copied that, saved it as a schematic, and deleted all the chunks surrounding it. Then we came back in, reloaded all the chunks, and here we are with some pretty awesome views that you can't see much, but uh, that's mostly because I don't have a great computer. Anyway, uh, trust me, they're really cool. And uh, here's some hilly type thing going on here. Now, one a uh, few glitches ran into ish that I ran into with. Oh, there's a huge, by the way, a huge, uh, like really deep section over there. There's an ocean biome that direction. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, issues I've ran into. One being, yeah, you wonder why there's like little torches on the side of the island here. Uh, it's because they were floating in midair before, like above the water, <laughs> and uh, very strange type of thing going on there. And that's because all the blocks shifted over, like a couple blocks this way, one block this way, or something to that effect. So I had to refix some some of the wiring over here. Uh, the EMP unit's completely trashed. Not that it really matters that much, but look at this. Only opens the first one there. That only pushes the first one there. That does somehow still release the water. And then we have this one, what was supposed to originally like open up for lava. So you can see where this was originally the pit, and it got moved over that direction. <laughs> so, pretty weird stuff. Thankfully, everything underground did not get moved, so that's a god save there, because if anything a below ground got moved, then that whole piston elevator that I built would have been for nothing. Uh, yes, I am in playing in peaceful. I plan on playing in peaceful playing in peaceful until I can get a uh, until I can get a mob system going. Mostly because I just don't want e uh, Endermen starting to take my stuff. But I might play in hard for a little bit. I don't know. Not this episode, but uh, for real. When I start caving and stuff. Anyway, we'll do this little TNT trick, so you guys can see around. As you can see, I have deactivated the old pop system. I didn't mention that earlier, but... Or, I didn't mention that earlier, but... I'll mention it now. And, uh, mostly I just placed a bunch of torches around. And, um, yeah, you can sort of see some of the old world. There's a dungeon there. This is the old cave systems that we're looking at right now, and there's the slime farm. Uh, work in progress. So when we take the fog off here, you guys will see the distance. In the, in the distance, you'll see uh, some of the 1.9 caves. There's a lot of ravines around here, a lot of underground ravines. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, this is all lit up, mostly, for the most part. But, uh, yeah, you can start to see in the background there. Yeah, right there, you can see one of the ravines. <coughs> There's at least, like, four or five just surrounding this island. Uh, and uh, you, you can sort of see some of that too there. Pretty cool. So, um, yep, 1.9 is here in Iggy Land. Pretty cool. And uh, as you can see, I've also done some more work on the storage system. Not really as much as I wanted to get done, but uh, 
Still getting there. Got some more diamonds. Hunting for some more. Got some netherrack. Which, by the way, I'm going to have to delete some of the chunks for, uh, for the nether so I can get the new nether. Uh, I'll be planning on doing that soon. I don't really have anything valuable in the nether anyway, so... <laughs> Just a little dirt hut. As you guys saw last time. Uh, I've got clay here, gravel, and I've also redid some of the design, so we're doing a uh, furnace, workbench, furnace, workbench, but I plan on having the furnace with the uh, cobblestone background and the fern... whoops, <laughs> I had to mix that up. I plan on having the furnace with the uh, cobblestone background and the workbench with the wooden background. And... Uh, the back chest, trust me, they look terrible, so I had to change that around. Lighting system's still not really fixed for these. I hope Notch gets on that, but I am in pre-release 3, but even in 1.8, it's still all screwed up. Uh, I guess the game's still in beta for a reason. I remember that time when the uh, stairs were all like that, and I never used stairs again. I started using half slabs. It's really annoying, but um, eventually I reverted back over. Oh, and I like that in 1.9, you don't have that annoying chest sound. Ugh, thank you. Please keep it that way, Notch. Um, anyway, as you can see, I ripped apart the whole mob killing system up here. I mean, I guess I could still have most of the mobs working. I would just have to make it smaller down there so that, uh, eh, that Endermen couldn't spawn, but, eh, it's not really worth it. I kind of want Endermen, so I decided I'm just going to push myself to build a new mob system. It's gravity-based. So yeah, that will be a project for the future. Um, we also have some animals over here, if you guys want to go check them out. Have them separated on the separate little stalls. Got a couple pigs. I think that's three cows. Two, three, that's two of them. And we've got some sheep. We kill off the ones that don't have any wool at some point. And we've got some eggs in there. I'm not going to bother getting them. But uh, we've got like f at least four chickens in there, I think. Yeah. And uh, here's another example of things shifting. <laughs> yeah. Pretty crazy. I did not put redstone on clay, trust me. And I just took away the blocks for whatever reason. So yeah, we've got a bunch of animals now. That's nice. And uh, I actually have some wheat on me. So we'll breed. Yeah, these pigs. to an issue where there was actually a the what happened is the cow or no wait it was the pigs there there's two pigs and they got up against the wall and the pig spawned over in the cow section or it might have been the other way around but either way it was like whoa it's pretty crazy so uh yeah I'm, I'm i'm this is just to really just to try things out i'm not really planning on keeping this as my permanent uh way of taking care of animals but okay sorry about that uh, people calling as soon as I'm making a video. Wouldn't that be convenient? Um, anyway, here's another thing I, you may have noticed, the buildings got ripped to down, and now you can sort of see the wiring. I have to clean this up still, but, um, it's still a work in progress with this. I might actually take this out, I'm not sure, because it doesn't, it, like, almost never works on the first try. You always have to go back down to, uh, get up. And if you don't know what this is, it's a piston elevator. Um, so yeah, I might do that zipper design by, uh, that that zipper design, I don't know who made it, it was like Royal Walrus or something like that, I think. I'm not sure, but that, I, I think that looks pretty reliable for the most part, so I might try that. Not sure, but... Um, anyway, here's another thing I took a bit of time to build. It's a easy way to take care... You know, I have that little uh, tunnel that goes down. Well, now I have a way to control which way I go. Um, for example, if I want to go to the basement, slip that up, and I'm in the basement. This is the basement, by the way. I dug it out probably yeah, a few hours ago, uh, and this is mostly just where I'm going to do all the redstone wiring, uh, kind of preparing for more complex things that I'll be building and such, so I thought I'd get ahead of the game and uh, set this up. 
And if you're wondering what these are, this is where the pot lights are, so I can't really mess around with them, or really have to, it's kind of a pain to f fix them, so I uh, just kind of keep it the way it is there. And uh, it doesn't look too bad either. Uh, and I also have this going all the way back around that direction, so pretty cool. And uh, we also have the sound box over here. So yeah, pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Turn the sound up a little bit now that we're away from the animals. Um, so yeah, this is all probably about, yep, one block below. So very easy to access. Oops. Ah, there we go. And um, the only thing is it's not very easy to get straight back up. You have to kind of run over here where I have a ladder. But I'm probably going to change that in the future to have either more ladders or another way up. They also have a tiny little wheat farm just to try out breeding animals. There's no permanent design, but uh, also takes advantage of having the fact that there's an infinite water stream right in the middle, so works out pretty well. Anyway, that's just a quick example there. Another way is to go down. If you have both switches pulled down, because the lighting is being stupid, come on. Let me see the sign. Okay, there you go. Uh, if you flip this switch up, it goes takes you to lava level, which I think I've showed you guys before. And if you go flip this switch down along with this one, then you'll go to uh, the old mob system. Now I have this as both old mob system slash lava level because you need that one down to go to either one. Uh, and then you can just choose over here once you flip that down. And to do that, just flip it again. Well, press the button, and now you're in the old mob system. This is the old mob system here, all lit up, as you saw from the TNT thing. This is a manual ladder to get from lava level to here, or down, I guess, if you really want to take it. Uh, and there's also a button here, this uh, sign you can sort of see, yep, to lava level. You can just press this button, and it opens up and takes you to lava level. And this is a piston elevator to the surface. That was a way to have a lighting system so it wouldn't interfere with the mobs, but uh, never really point to that anymore. And we also have a maintenance section. Oh jeez. This lighting, I swear, is just really annoying when I'm trying to show you guys signs. Uh, yeah. uh, anyway, there's a maintenance room back here where I have maintenance uh, with redstone. This is all the redstone wiring for the surface to here uh, changing system, basically. This is the uh, button is behind this tor torch here, and when you press it, that torch goes off, which um, powers this block, which powers this piston. And that will basically move this piston back for a second and then push it back in. That And that piston is controlling the block that completes the circuit. Uh, as you can see, there's a redstone um, repeater there that allows the circuit to go through the block and to here to power this piston that's underneath you when you're standing there. So when you press that button, it only lasts for a couple seconds, which basically allows you to go down and not get hurt by the uh, piston closing. So that's a perfect amount of time. And um, this wiring goes all the way up to the surface. Now before I take you there, this is the door to the uh, piston elevator wiring. It's pretty complex, but, well actually that's not very complex, but uh, it takes a lot of space. Um, like, it's not very easy to go up and down, because I have it all covered up so it looks nice, so that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> um, I did run into issues with uh, something backfiring. Every time that I turned the system off, I would have it kind of like pulsing. So I found out that I had torch on the other side of um, the switch, which was causing all that issue. I tried messing around with so many things, and I eventually found out it was, a, it was only that. So it was kind of just a pain in the butt. Uh, my mouse died here for a second. <laughs> um, so yeah, you can continue taking the wiring up. 
until you get all the way up here. Take that away. That behind there is the uh, lever, which uh, when you flip it up, it would uh, power it, and when you flip it down, it takes it off, which is what stated in is in right now, and when it's off, uh, that keeps the door down there, the piston, at, well, no, wait. Yes. Uh, let me take it back down there again. Um, when it's powered off, the piston that I'm trying to talk about, but I can't remember. Yeah, this was a lot. I did this for like multiple hours and it was kind of frustrating, but uh, when it's powered, when it's not powered, it's keeping this torch on, which gives power and then completes that circuit. When it's on, this uh, redstone from upstairs, when it's uh, flipped down, or no wait, when it's flipped up, okay, when it's flipped up, it's powered. When it's flipped down, it's not powered. When it's flipped up, it deactivates this torch, which just basically shuts off this entire circuit and turns this off. Um, and then when it's, of course, powered off like it is right now, it completes the circuit and keeps that uh, where it's where you land in the mob system versus all the way down the lava level. A uh, little bit weird, but uh, it worked out well. Might be simpler ways to do it, but um, this way worked out pretty well for me. So I'll show you. Well, actually, I don't even need to show you that, but yep, that opens up down to lava level. And let me lower down the volume because I'm sure this will be nice and loud. Piston elevator. Ah, see what I mean? It doesn't. It never works on the first try. You have to get in the exact corner, like right here, or else it never works. I don't know if it's a delay or something. And this one also gets stuck. You need you need to update the block to uh, make it work again, which is annoying. But uh, I did set up a little system to do that. So yep, that's what I've been working on. Mostly this was my. Uh, it's not really a big project, but it was something I've been working on a lot. So um, and then there's the up lava level, which will take you to the lava level, as I will show you right now. Takes you past that, and all the way down to here, lava level, nice. And we got some lapis lazuli blocks back there. And, and uh, I won't show you getting all the way back up to the surface, I'll just clip the video, so be right back. So other than that, not a ton going on. Uh, I've been really busy in real life, so I haven't gotten a ton of work done on the mobs, I mean, on the uh, world in general, but uh, slowly getting there. And, uh, yeah, that's about all I have to talk about today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, the usual business there. And, uh, still trying to figure out the flooring, what I plan on doing with the actual building. It's going to be a pretty big building, but, um, with the actual storage system. So, um, still going to need ideas for that. And, um, yeah, if you guys have any suggestions or ideas, feel free to leave a comment, PM, contact me in some form or way. Uh, I check pretty much every day, so I, and I actually enjoy checking, like, I, it's, it's not tedious, I really enjoy answering questions and stuff, so, uh, feel free to leave a comment or such, let me get away from the noisy animals, and, um, yeah, thanks you for watching, and see you in episode 5, in which I should have the mob system hopefully either part way or done by then so yep thanks for watching see ya